Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the validity of Floyd's loop detection algorithm. So in earlier classes we saw that how we can find uh, the first element of loop in a linked list. So in this case 4 is the first element of the linked list because we start traversing from the beginning of the list and this is the first element which is part of the loop. So we saw that uh, algorithm works like if you start from head and take two pointers, one fast pointer which moves by two step and one slow pointer that moves by one step. If they meet again then we say that there is a loop in the list. So let's say initially they meet at ninth node where slow and fast pointers meet. Now we need to find the first element of the loop. So what we do? We keep one pointer here at the place where they met and one pointer to the first node and now both will advance by one step and they will again meet at 4 the starting point but we did not see why this algorithm works so we will see in this video so now uh, let's divide this linked list into a few parts segments so this is the first part from the beginning of the list till this till it reaches the first node of the list so basically it will mean 1 2 3 that is how uh, how many steps we need to take to reach this node so let's say this is number of steps is m or I will say distance distance is m another thing is the length of the loop so let's say the length of the loop is that is number of nodes or the number of edges so, so this length is n so in this case it's 8 but the count is not required actually so n is the number of elements in the loop now another part would be from the this node the first node of the list till the point where slow and fast pointers met for the first time so let's say that distance is k let's uh, do some calculation so let's say the distance traveled by fast pointer this is the distance from head node till this point that is starting from 1 3 5 7 and so on so I am finding the distance till 9 so for clarity I will write 9 here so the distance moved by fast pointer would be this m distance plus before meeting maybe the fast pointer has taken a few rounds around this loop so some constant times this n n is the length of the loop so it reached to the 4 and took some rounds about this loop and then finally took k steps to reach here at 9 and then so we add k similarly distance moved by slow pointer to reach 9 is this same distance m and let's say it also took some rounds around the loop so this will be different in most cases I would say it will be one only so C2n plus again k so this pointer also reached 4 so we added m then took a few rounds around this loop and then again reached 4 so this C2n and then k distance to reach 9 but we know that 
this fast pointer takes two step every time and this takes one step so they meet after some time so in that time this fast pointer has covered twice the distance has the distance of slow pointers so we know that df is two times ds so now we can substitute the value of df and ds so df is m times m plus c1 n plus k which is two times ds and ds is this value so this is m plus plus 2k now we can take this m k and c1 n to this side so it will be 0 on this side and 2m minus m is m similarly 2k minus k is k plus Two C two minus C one N. Or we can say M plus K is equal to C one minus two C two. n now this term is a constant so i can replace it with c com common constant so m plus k is equal to c times n some constant times n so this we got now let me copy this diagram so that we can see it together with the equation so here this is our equation that we derived m plus k is c times n so we can also write this m is equal to c n minus k I just k to the right hand side so this is our m what is m now i now we, we will look at the second step that is once the slow and fast pointer met at 9 now there is a pointer p1 at the beginning and p2 at the point where they met and now both are advancing by one step both are equal speed pointers so we are claiming that they will meet at 4 now we have to see why so when p1 reaches here so let's say p1 reaches here so how much distance it will cover it will cover this m distance because the distance between 1 and 4 is m so this is distance travel by p1 so now uh, this p1 travels m distance to reach 4 and this distance is some multiple of this loop minus k so for if we look at p2 if it takes some multiple of this uh, loop then it will reach here again if we subtract k distance if we decrease that distance by k units that distance will be here or there is a other way of looking at it uh, so we can see that cn as some c minus 1 times n plus n 
I just subtracted minus n and plus n minus k. So this is another constant. So let, let's say even n plus n minus k. What is n minus k? This complete distance of the loop is n and minus k. So this is k and this is n minus k. This part is n minus k. Let's call it d. So this is cn plus d. So m distance is equivalent to some multiple of this loop plus this distance d. So if we if the second pointer is at p2 and it also covers distance m because p1 has covered distance m so and both are moving at the same speed so p2 will also cover distance m and this m is equivalent to taking some rounds about this loop that is cn plus d this is the distance d so it will also reach 4 so that is why Floyd's algorithm works so first we need to find the point where the slow and fast pointers meet once they meet we initialize one of the pointers to head and now we advance both these pointers by same speed of one step at a time and then they will meet at this starting node so uh, thanks for watching this and give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like it